What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. We have a freaking really interesting phone here today. It's the TCL 30Z. Now this phone has some things in it that are years old. It's a 2022 phone, but it has technologies and features that you probably would dream of having nowadays. And it's on Cricut Wireless and I believe AT&T as well. If you get it on Cricut, it's free. But basically, it's an under $100 phone, so it's very, very inexpensive. So don't expect this to compete with something like a modern-day iPhone, a high-end high Samsung phone, or high-end any other phone. It's a very kind of bare-bones phone with tons of features that, again, are pretty crazy in what they give you. This is what the box looks like. You can see TCL 30Z. It tells you it has a 6.1-inch HD Plus display, which means 720p+. Plus. Display 8 megapixel rear and 5 megapixel front cameras. So only two cameras, one in the front, one in the back. Facial recognition for added security and convenience. Large 3000 milliamp battery, 20 hours of talk time on there, and a quad core processing power. Only 4G, aka LTE. So you're not going to get 5G on this. Also, you're not going to get 5G Wi Fi either. So it'll only work on your 2.4 gigahertz networks on here no fingerprint sensor if you're a fingerprint sensor person this unfortunately does not have one so you'll have to unlock it either with your face or with your pin code so which i'm going to pull it off right now so there you go i have it off on the on the pin code and uh obviously it is better now with that i'm just going to lower the brightness just a little here just so you can see it Ultimately, this phone is, um, I don't know, like I said, it's pretty, pretty crazy. So let's get into some of those things in here. So this is not a super fast phone. Let me say that right off the bat, not super fast. It has a Helio, I believe it's A22 processor from MediaTek, three gigabytes of RAM, 32 gigabytes of storage, but you can add up to 512 gigabytes via a micro SD card. The battery is, like I said, is a 3000 milliamp battery battery inside, and it's actually removable. That's one of the crazy things on here. So there's a little indent right here where you'll just pull it off the back, pull the back off, and look at that, a removable battery. You also have a, you have two spots. You have one for the SIM card, and then you have one for the, uh, actually one for the SIM card, and then here's the micro SD card spot right there. So it's very easy to get. And then this battery pops out really easy as well. You can uh, remove this. And I guess buy more batteries. I wouldn't, I couldn't tell you where you could buy the batteries, but I maybe TCL directly or through Cricut or something, but um, you can remove this battery, which is again, a really, really cool feature. Two features again, that are really old and, and people really want are removable batteries and the micro SD card expansion. Also to continue on with that, what about a headphone jack? This has a headphone jack which is fantastic if you are missing the headphone jack. One thing this does have that I am absolutely completely turned off by, micro USB charging, not USB-C, which I'm kind of surprised. I have not seen a phone in, it's been years that I can remember that I last saw something micro USB. So it does come with a charger and a charging cable inside the box. You don't have to worry about buying one. It comes inside the box and that's all that comes inside the box besides the phone, but ultimately, your newer chargers are not going to fit this, so you'll have to get more micro USB. You can see the speakers and buttons on the side. Buttons are easier to find and maneuver. Let me just go like there. Let me also remove any notifications that I have on here. One moment, there we are, great. Notifications are gone. The screen, let's talk about the brightness and the viewing angles. You can see it's, not amazing it's uh you know it's a hundred dollar phone so it gets a little dark when you turn it to the sides it almost looks like it has a privacy screen on it but it does not it just gets kind of dark the quality of the screen is not that great also doesn't get that bright outdoors so if you have trouble seeing your phone outdoors you'll probably have some trouble seeing this one um, to continue on performance is okay you know it's not you can see it's trying to boot up uh, show some information on here it's not amazing it doesn't load up things super fast. It's on my 2.4 gigahertz network, which, you know, does it work? Does it load up the things kind of fast? Yeah, you can see it loaded up pretty quick right there. I know when I was loading up the Play Store a second ago, it did take a few seconds for it to fully load. So everything about this phone, I wouldn't say it's fast. It's just kind of adequate. 
60 hertz refresh rate. So uh, if you're used to 120 hertz, I don't. I think you'll probably know some, notice some lag, not only from the operating system itself and the performance of the phone, but with the you know the power of the phone. Software-wise, it runs kind of bare bones Android, which I absolutely love. Very clean interface. You can see I don't have a ton of. Uh, pre-installed apps there are a few here board kings candy crush candy crush and dice stream so some games are uh, news break was pre-installed pandora pinterest but like i didn't install pandora if i want to let's see if i can uninstall this just to show you that there you go you can uninstall some of these pre-installed apps you're not locked into having those like some of the other companies uh, do for you which is good Next, let's open up a video and I will play a video and we'll listen to the sound. Seems like it has stereo speakers. That's as loud as it goes. Can definitely hear it. Only goes up to 1080p. This is a 4K video, but it only plays it up to 1080p. So, speaker, again, you can definitely hear it. The quality of it, again, you wouldn't expect it to be amazing at 100 bucks, and, and it's not amazing. Uh, but it gets the job done, sure. Um, viewing angles, as you can see, let me turn the volume down because you probably don't want to hear me keep talking, especially if you've already seen this video. So it just the viewing angles are, are they get a little rough, but you know, head on. Can I see it? Yeah, I can see it. Um, it's just not the brightest display. I like my display it's brighter, but obviously this phone's not made for me. This is going to be made for somebody that um, isn't looking to spend a lot of money, but wants a smartphone that can make phone calls and go on the internet. Now, speaking of the internet, let's load up a website here. Let's go to Android police website, like I always do. All right, there you go. Loaded that up fairly quick. It's loading up the website again pretty quick, so performance on that was pretty good. Maybe I want to read about the new Pixel 6a, which is f almost five times the price, well, about four times the price of this phone. So you see, you can read, you can zoom in, every, all that kind of stuff works. So if you're looking for a smartphone to do web browsing and just basic tasks. This obviously will get it done for you. It also does have a flashlight on the back there. So if you want in the middle of the night, you're looking for some goodies and you want to eat something, you can get, there you go, flashlight. Look at that, very nice. So you can see your way around at night. Speaking of the software experience, we said it was a clean software experience, but it also has some, some built-in things here. If you go into uh, settings, you can mess around with your mobile network, your connection such as USB and hotspots. You can mess around with your display settings and change the brightness or turn auto brightness off, go into dark mode, change your sleep mode settings, color mode and temperature. If you are wanting something more natural, you can change it. Font styles. You can change your buttons and gestures. If you want to use gestures where you swipe up and hold, kind of like an iPhone or the current Android setup, you can. Uh, otherwise, you can come in here and change the buttons. I changed my buttons around. The back button was on the left. I changed it to the right, so you can do all that. You can see security and biometrics. Come in here and set up your face unlock. Smart lock. So there are enough settings in here to keep you busy and to keep you satisfied. And uh, yeah. So let's talk about the camera. Camera, you see, you get a couple of settings in here. You get auto, you get video, you get portrait mode, and you get panorama. That's just on the uh, the front camera itself. Let me actually, I didn't even take a portrait mode photo, I don't think. Let me take a quick one while I'm off screen. There we go, I took one, and I'll show you those. And then other than that though, when you come in here, you can see, whoops, go back in there. Can turn, I hate shutter sound. Let's turn that off. Mirror your camera in there. So there are things in here to keep you uh, getting maybe hopefully a good photo. It does up to 1080p on the front and back cameras. So let's check out some photos and videos that I captured with this phone.
This is the front camera doing 1080p 30 on the front here. I'm standing still. I'm now going to start walking just a little bit. I'm indoors, as you can see, unless people have walls and <laughs> uh, railings outside, which I guess they do. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Let me know what you think. Front camera. Here's the back camera. I'm going to zoom in on my dog. There you go. There's no um, wide angle or anything on this. It's just one camera on the back. And then I'll put it on myself so you can see what I look like. Do I look amazing? Probably not. I'm going to walk a little bit. See how good the stabilization is again. What do you guys think? 1080p 30 on the back as well. All right, so the TCL 30Z, let's talk about things that I like. I love the removable battery so I can always buy or have a fresh new battery potentially. Headphone jack is great to have. The ability to have a smartphone under 100 bucks is amazing. How crazy is that to be able to get that for basically absolutely free or for under 100 bucks if you're just paying for it? Um, is it the, oh, expandable storage? That's great too, so you don't have to, it comes with 32 gigs on board, but then you can add up to 512 gigabytes if you want to save stuff. But other than that, is it like the best phone? No, it's not, but I mean, for someone that wants, uh, doesn't wanna spend a lot on a smartphone and they still want to be able to make phone calls, check smart things such as controlling your smart home or looking at apps or browsing the web or reading a book uh, listening to music. You can do all of that on here. So check it out if you're looking for a budget phone. I mean, it works. Is it amazing? No, it's not amazing, but you know, gets a job done for the basic stuffs for the most part. Have a great day. We'll see you down the road. Peace.